so we will now we will discuss about database level validation i mean before going to insert some documents in database or records in the database we need to check whether particular record has been exist or not okay, that type of validation how to do that at create level emp number before going to insert some documents in the database we need to check whether that employee number already exist or not okay. if already exist we need to give some message like employee number already exist so you should not insert again like that when taking the update level update api if that employee number exist only then only you have to write the query to update the documents otherwise whatever you have sent the employee number that is not exist so this type of message you have to give like get message get api also so whenever you are trying to get the documents based on the employee number if that employee number does not exist in the database then what you have to give so whenever you have sent the employee number that is not exist in the database coming to the delete api whenever you are trying to delete the documents from the database i mean collection so if you pass invalid employee number then you have to send the message like Employee number does not exist. Okay, so these type of these four types of validations, of test cases, can be called with any name. Okay, validations are test cases. So these type of test cases, how do you implement in API level? We will discuss now. This is the API. Going to paste entire this collection. This is the main logic to insert the documents in the database. Okay. First of all, we need to check that employee number already exists or not. Okay. And uh, see some employee number. I am going to insert uh, create uh, employee number like asset. Success. That means you can go through that. So, employee number one, two, three already exist. Okay. When I am trying to insert again, so does not insert it again and again. Okay. It has to send message like employee number already exist. Okay. For that, how do you write? So, await schema emp schema dot find. EMP number body dot EMP number. Okay. Then here is this. If is exist not length greater than zero, that means that employee number exists. Then only is exist length will be greater than zero. Okay. Here I have to give the message like. Not one. You can give status name as your wish. Okay, and message will be EMP number 
already exist okay else else means it will not contain is exist variable does not contain any data else means same whatever you have written earlier that entire logic you copy and paste it here that's it okay so here it will show something see, see this await expressions are only allowed within async functions that means you should not allowed to use await function without ha having async function okay so here just write async error is gone okay so provide this confusion and just deleting this okay so here i didn't write catch catch block for this then block okay you can write like 400 e dot message okay otherwise you will get what type of message error response see this default message is failed 400 fail you will get if you write e dot message like that what type of error you are getting that error message that will be displayed in api response okay Now we will check it. See this employee number already exist. Okay. So I pass four, then access message. So it uh, it will be inserted. If again. I am sending same parameters. Employee number already exist. Okay. Now I want to pass the specified employee number in the response. That means employee number one two three four already exist. Okay. So how do you give that? Body dot empty for new space that will be better. There is EMP number one two three four already exist. Okay, so this is about validation or test case for create. Okay, next update. While taking the update API, employee number not exist in collection. For example, in this database EMP collection one two three one two three four is there. Okay, both one two three and one two three four are there. If you are trying to send EMP number as one two three four five, so it is not available in collection. At that time also, you will get success message. Okay, see this. Save success. Is it exist in collection? No. So it does not exist in collection. It is giving save success. Okay. As a API developer, we should prevent this type of cases also. Okay. How do you do that? Go to date. Copy here and write H M P schema dot find same logic 
EMP number, body dot EMP number, find. Sink is exist. Yes, is exist or length other than zero. That means is available. Then only your logic has to be executed. Otherwise, you have to throw some messages like that request, requested employee number does not exist in the database. Okay. Copy here. Okay. After this. This. Same message what we have sent over this. Employee number does not exist. Here I am going to update one two three four salary twenty thousand. So it is giving success message. And if I trying to pass five, then employee one two three four five does not exist. Okay. So this is about update. Employee number while uh, writing the get API. Employee number does not exist in collection. Okay, so we have. I think we have written. Yeah, see this. We have written that logic earlier. That means whenever we are passing employee number to the collection, if the result dot length greater than zero, then we will have data. Otherwise, no data available. That means that employee number does not exist, or some filter conditions does not satisfy. Actually, this no data available means some filter condition does not satisfy the uh, records. Then we will give no data available. Okay. If you want to write this type of validation again, you can write it. Same thing. Copy and. Uh, Paste it here. If it is greater than zero, then you can go to filter the condition, or else you can write it. Then take this A number does not exist.
Here you can write catch block. So this catch block belongs to this gen. By number of two, three, four, okay, does not exist. Okay. In generally, we will give like no data available. This type of message. So if you want to implement, so first of all, you are going to uh, find the whether that employee number exists or not. Okay. Easy query. If it is a, exist, then only you are fetching the data. Otherwise, you are not going to fetch the data. Next. Exist in collection. Well, we did it. EMP number body dot EMP number then sync of is exist. If is exist dot length than zero means that employee number exists. So at that time, you just logic it is not exist. Then That employee number does not exist. So take this catch block and yeah, I think we can check with the bar we have to Success. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yeah, number has been created. Two. One, two, three, four. Again, let me see. The employee number one, two, three, four does not exist. Okay. So this is the way to put the test cases or validations at database. First, valid data are to send the appropriate. Real time from front end people, they won't send invalid employee numbers like valid data because in the portal only they will call your APIs. But after writing your APIs, some testing people they will test your APIs. At that time, they will send whatever they want. Okay. So at that time, this type of message. If they if you display like that, then they come to know. So okay, so this whatever I have sent the employee number, it is not available in database such that this API guys are throwing this type of messages. Okay, so that testing people they may understand like that. Okay, so otherwise they, they simply uh, send the uh, test cases right. So if I send unknown employee number, uh, it is also giving success message. So it is not up to the mark. So this API is not up to the mark. They will send the report like that. Okay. 
it is very very useful so here these validations are important so some people uh, they will put these validation request body validations in angular side and some people they will put the validations in api level and as well as database level also okay actually uh, in our application we don't put these validations in database level we have put these validations in api level but coming to this if you take mysql then this type of validation is exist or not this type of validations we have put in mysql and if you use mongodb we have to put in node api okay that's it